Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this uh, dry spots when you apply clear. Right there, guys, as you can see, hopefully the camera's picking it up, are dry spots. Okay, there's a bunch in the car. All these uh, stickers, all this tape that I have right there are areas that need addressing. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing. There's two ways to do it, but I'm going to do it the simpler way so that you guys can know. There are two ways to do it. First is you can sand it down with 1500, 2000, and uh, 3000 and buff it. The second, the second is to sand it down with 800 and re-clear it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to re-clear it. Reason being, this car only has three coats of uh, clear. If I sand it down with 1500, 2000, and 3000 with only three coats of clear, you're going to have a real good chance of cutting through the paint with a buffer. And this is a pearl paint job. It's going to be real hard. I'm going to re have to respray the whole thing. And I don't want to do that. So my safest and better uh, choice is to sand it down with 800 and re-clear it. I am going to apply two coats of clear and it's called the flow coat so let me show you how i'm going to be sanding it it's real simple to do i'm just going to get my da with an interface pad and 800 grit wet and start sanding it Here we go. I completely sanded the entire car. I'm gonna paint it in sections now. Now, as you know, the reason I'm doing a flow coat is because of the dry spots with the clear, the final coat of clear that I applied. So this is your best deal. Either sand it down with 800, that's where I'm at right now, 800 grit and just do a flow coat and you'll, you will eliminate all those dry spots. You can also buff it, but this car only has three coats of clear and I'm afraid I'm gonna cut through the paint and this is a pearl paint job, which is gonna be a lot difficult to match. So I'd rather do it this way. Everything is covered. I'm gonna paint this section. The inside is perfect, so I ain't gonna mess with that and I ain't gonna just re-clear it which I'm gonna be applying two coats of clear. I am gonna be using this clear, the Shopline JC6700. Reason being, I ran out of the other clear from the high Q, I'm sorry. So I'll be using that one. So let's just uh, mix it up, start applying it.
all right you saw me paint the exterior of the car now i'm gonna jump into the doors um it's been 24 hours so this is the uh, following day now i'm gonna start uh, applying the clear coat to the doors that way we can flow coat them i'll show you everything uh when i'm done and remember i'm doing this flow coat just because it had some dry clear okay it had some dry clear so let me just uh finish it up again the clear that i'm using is from shopline jc 6700 with a fast uh, activator why am i using fast not because it's uh cold the thing is that this clear the 6700 dries extremely extremely slow even if you apply the fast activator a fast hardener whatever you want to call it it dries slow so i need if i would uh use a slow activator it's going to take 24 hours for it to dry and i cannot afford that that's uh for a body shop that has a paint booth with uh, heat so uh let's uh let's apply it there it is now it does have little dirt nibs here and there but it is gonna get buffed so that'll do it so let me show you the car also and uh, that's the flow coating I still need the hood and the trunk I'm not gonna show that because it's gonna be the same same process and this is the car like i said it is gonna get cut and buff so no problem i still need the hood like i mentioned and the trunk there it is this is gonna be it this is gonna be it for this video thank you very much guys i hope you enjoyed it and uh trying to finish this car so that it can go back to his owner uh that'll be it thank you very much have a great week have a great thanksgiving like always i'll see you next coming weekend thank you and stay safe and god bless